OK, now we're given that f of x equals 12 cos x minus 4 sin x and asked to express this in the form r cos of x plus alpha. And we've got to work out what r and alpha would be. Well, to do this, you should already know, and if not, just look on my website, but you should already know that if you've got any expression of the form a cos x minus b sine x, where a and b are constants, that this is identical to r cos x plus alpha, where r okay, is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. And when it comes to working out what alpha is, alpha is the inverse tan of the b value over the a value. So, how can we apply this here? Well, we can see that this expression here is identical to a cos x minus b sin x. So our constants for a and b are going to be that a is 12. You can compare that. Be careful here. It's very tempting to say that b is minus 4. The minus is the same here, so b is just 4. OK, so we've got b equals 4. That means that we can work out what r is. r then is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So in other words, 12 squared plus 4 squared. This comes out at the square root of 160. And you can leave it like that if you wish. Or you could see this as 16 times 10, which would then be the root of 16 times 10, and that comes to 4 root 10. But it's up to you, whatever one you want to leave it as. When it comes to alpha, alpha then is the inverse tan of b over a, so that's going to be the inverse tan of b being 4 over a, which is 12. The inverse tan then of 4 twelfths. And if you do that on your calculator, make sure you're in the right mode. It tells us that we've got to be in degrees for this one. So that's going to give you 18.4349 and so on. And we've got to write, round this up to two decimal places. So that's going to be 18.43 degrees then to 2 dp. OK, so that gives us our and alpha.